Hi, my name is Tony Furtado. I'm a musician and sculptor based here in Portland, Oregon, where I live with my wife, Stephanie Schneiderman, also a musician, and our son, Liam. For most of my life, I've been balancing between my passions of making music and creating sculpture. I started playing music as the result of a sixth grade music project where I constructed a banjo out of household items. Soon after, I got a real banjo and dove in head first. That same year, while taking a ceramics class, I discovered and fell in love with clay. There was an ease and a joy in creating whatever I wanted to from that sticky mud. Before long, I was winning ribbons at the Alameda County Fair and selling sculptures to friends and teachers. I attended Cal State Hayward as a fine arts major with every intention of becoming a professional sculptor until, at age 19, I won the National Bluegrass Banjo Championship, then signed a record deal with Rounder Records, and joined a touring folk band. I decided to leave college and sculpting to pursue music. Fifteen albums, hundreds of tours, and thousands of gigs later, I realized something was missing, and so I returned to my passion for creating visual art. I wanted to learn everything I would have had I stayed in college, so in between tours, I retreated to my North Portland basement to teach myself some fundamentals of sculpting. I dug into human anatomy, color theory, glaze formulation, mold making and casting. When I felt ready, I bought a kiln and moved my little operation to a studio space at the Falcon Art Community. I've been at it ever since. Most everything I make starts with either a lump of clay or a bamboo latticework form that I coat with slip and fire in the kiln. Some of my work is glazed, but most of my pieces are surfaced with a tough resin and plaster based non-fired coating that I combine with metal powders. This then cures and oxidizes, giving it a look of aged bronze or distressed iron. I guess I've always been a fan of improvisation and exploration when it comes to music and art, and I love taking chances to go deeper than the obvious to express something that's real. Frequently I find myself using other materials to complete a vision. For example, sometimes I experiment with lacquered paper over a metal coated frame to soften the unforgiving weight of the fired clay. I'd have to say the number one inspiration for my art is the natural world and finding expressive and engaging ways to portray what I see and feel. Whether it's an accurate biological rendering or a stylized or surreal statement, my process almost always begins with me imagining a creature, a person, or a patterned structure somehow differently. I try to capture the duality of what is fierce and fragile in the form as I find myself driven by the tension between survival and surrender, something we all endure as part of this wildly changing planet. I've been in Portland since 2002 and I've enjoyed being part of the thriving music culture. I've also been an inspired witness to the evolving and expanding art scene here. But over the past few years, it's been exciting to find my own place within the folds and hopefully help to push the envelope. So if I'm not on tour playing shows or at home being dad, you can more than likely find me here at the Falcon juggling my two passions in the hopes they can coexist from here on out.